First up, chess. Did you know that chess can be traced back to the 6th century in India, where it was known as Chaturanga? It later spread to Persia and then to the Islamic world, where it gained prominence. The game's historical influence can be seen in its pieces, which represent different ranks in medieval warfare, such as the king, queen, knights, and infantry. Chess also draws inspiration from ancient Indian war games like Chaturanga and Chatranj, and ancient Chinese games like Xiangqi. Next, Monopoly. First published in 1935, Monopoly has become a classic board game. Its historical influence can be seen in its depiction of capitalism and property ownership during the early 20th century, reflecting the economic conditions and societal values of that era. While Monopoly's direct ancient influence is limited, it can be loosely connected to the concept of land ownership and trading in ancient civilizations. The game incorporates elements of negotiation, resource management, and property acquisition prevalent in various forms throughout history. In part 2, we'll delve into two more games and their roots. First up, Dominoes. This tile-based game can be traced back to ancient China, with evidence of its existence dating back to the 13th century. The rectangular tiles and tradition of matching and laying them are clear indicators of its historical influence. Dominoes can also be seen as an evolution of ancient tile-based games like Mahjong, which involve matching and strategic decision-making. Next, we have Sari, a classic family board game first published in 1929. Its historical influence lies in its incorporation of traditional English race games, which have been played for centuries. The game follows the race to the finish format, common in historical board games. While Sari doesn't have direct ancient influences, its mechanics, such as moving pieces along a track, are reminiscent of ancient games that incorporated race elements, like the Greek game Petia and the Roman game Ludus Latrunculorum.